Hi, Leo. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for December 2022. This is a love reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for all the support. I love you and send you the energy to attract love into your own lives. If you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So if you're looking for advice on career and money, that would be the way to go. Mondays are different every week. So of course, this week is a love reading. Next week will be something completely different. You'll just have to come back and see. I will give you a little bit of a teaser. In December, I'm going to be doing a year of predictions for 2023 for each sign. So if you haven't subscribed, you might want to and hit that bell to be notified so you don't miss it. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Leo need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Leo? Messages for Leo about love. All right, we'll start here by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. You have the King of Wands, Four of Wands, King of Cups. They have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. You've got the Page of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands in the advice. Well, you definitely have love here. You've got the King and Queen of Cups in each of your energies. I mean, these two are a soulmate energy, okay? You're attracting a match for sure. And especially with this Ace of Cups here, too, and their energy. Hey, this is an unconditional love, a love that is meant to be. You have a marriage card here, too, by the way, with this Four of Wands. I feel like this is it, all right? If you haven't met this person, get ready. Get ready to be put on lockdown, the two of you, because I don't see you. And it's real love. I mean, I say that kiddingly. Um, but I don't see you wanting to look anywhere else. You've got a match. With that King of Wands energy, you might be finding that quite a few people are attracted to you and looking your way. You're going to be sexy, dynamic, captivating, charismatic, and you're going to draw a lot of attention. But I don't, I mean, the King of Wands is also very loyal, so don't get me wrong on that. Um, I, I just feel like if you're single, you're going to be noticing your energy is shifting and people around you are going to be approaching. And, you know, I take it as that. If it's not the right person, you go, eh, I don't, I'm not interested in them. That's okay. I would say that for sure, especially, too, if you deal with the public with work. Because I get it like you're in a lot of public places where it's like, are, are they looking at me? Are they? Yeah, I think that is what that was, you know. Um, with the King of Cups, though, I, again, I feel like whoever this is, that you attract, they feel like they can talk to you about anything. They're going to be very transparent with you, very open. And you may find that it's more than them. Uh, with the King of Cups, you're going to feel like a real confidant. And so there are going to be people who are confiding in you. And so again, that's one of those signals that, hey, my energy has shifted because all of a sudden the UPS guy was telling me all about his childhood, you know, or about his last divorce. You know, it's that sort of stuff. Um, but with that King of Cups too, though, it's definitely an emotional maturity. It's you being emotionally available. And it's really having a love that knows no bounds. And so the Four of Wands comes in to say, well, how about we do this forever? You know, um, now Abraham Hicks always used to say the perfect wedding vows are, I like you pretty well, let's see how it goes. But I do feel like with this, you're like two peas in a pod. That's what they say. I don't really even use that phrase, but they keep saying it. And I don't know if it's some Halloween thing you're going to end up going as or some costume or something, but they keep saying it. So I do feel like that it's very compatible energy, though. And so with that 1111 card, it's a Hindu wedding ceremony, but it's definitely celebration and just feeling like I fi you finally found them. You fi you're going to look at this person and know it's them. I know that it is. And so fours bring in support and stability. You also have the three of wands here too. So if it's been a wait, your time is now. You're ready now. And so their energy, they're ready as well. I mean, my gosh, invite me to the wedding if that's what you plan on doing. With the ten of pentacles here, that is the wealth card, but it's also about 
leaving a legacy. Tens are dominion, they're perfection, they're a new cycle, and this one is absolutely brilliant. And I do feel like the two of you together make a very dynamic energy. Um, it certainly could be another fire sign too, but I do feel like together people are going to be asking you, where did you find each other? Do they have siblings? Do they have an uncle? Do they have an aunt? That sort of things. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's very harmonious energy. There's going to be times though too where you feel like you're the only two people in the world. That your communication is often unspoken. That you have dreams about each other regularly. And with that Ten of Pentacles though, it's definitely building a life together. Now for them too, it may be, it's in their energy, uh, a bit of an unexpected encounter. It might be one of those things where you're out and about and they say, I wasn't even planning on going here. And then I thought twice about it and decided to, to come anyway or to go anyway. Maybe it's even at a gym. I see somebody at a gym. And I think I said that earlier too. I just keep getting that. So I guess I should say it when it happens. Um, but with that, like I said, it's definitely the universe is making moves to put you together. You are manifesting one another big time here. Well, with the Ace of Cups, it's never-ending love. This is the kind of love that's intense, but it's one that evolves. It's maturing together. It's growing together and building a life like we've talked about. So there's no end to this. And like I said before, with that King of Cups, you've got such an unconditional energy that you're going to feel like a confidant, but they have it here too. And I do feel like both of you present yourselves as you are. I keep hearing come as you are. There's nothing to hide here. And so because it is such a match, there's no reason to. And so with that Ace of Cups, there's a wonderful pull. It's just a very beautiful kind of energy. And so you're going to feel this pull coming towards you or pulling you towards them. So it's got that beautiful fountain of love, right? That never ends. But you also have the Yods or Yods of the Tarot the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew. Now with the Queen of Cups, again, I feel like it's more on their terms, but it's trusting their own intuition. And I feel like something about intuition puts you two together. That Queen of Cups too, though, they're very generous. They're very loving. And I see them too as an animal lover, somebody who has animals. But also too, they might be really good with kids if they don't have kids or even if they do. Um, something about them. They're kind of fun loving and easy going. I do feel like they know when to be serious, especially with that 10 of pentacles. They also might be rather handy like, and they might not even know that they are. So if you end up getting a house together and doing some home improvement projects, there might be something about that, that they have a facility for, I hear tile. They have a facility for tile. If they don't know that they do, they do. Um, but with this too, I do feel like everything they do, they kind of do it with a a sense of enjoyment and a sense of curiosity and like not taking themselves too seriously. You know, so if they screw up a tile job, they go, well, we'll just call somebody. They don't get all worked up about things. Very easy going, very nice energy to be around. And I do feel like too, you fit together in your lives. You make sense in one another's lives. There's no really big stretches here, to be honest with you. So you've got Another one of the court cards here, one of the the uh, the cups showing up again. This time it's the page. The pages get such a bad rap on YouTube. They're really not. They're messengers. And so this is a message about a developing love interest, but it's very spontaneous. It's very fun. And it's law of attraction energy. So like I said, those intuitions are important here because that's your, you know, that's a lot of the law of attraction pulling you and saying, hey, come this way come over here, go to this thing. Now with this page of cups, it can be the return of an ex. Um, and I would say you've got law of attraction all over this, but um, it's not an, you know, with the three of wands, I would say that too, that reconciliation is possible. I certainly would not rule it out. Um, but with that three of pentacles, it's very harmonious energy. It's building a house together. It's building a life together. It's moving in together. And there's no second guessing. There's no reservations here at all. But with that Three of Wands, it's definitely a card of success. It's looking out into the future. And it is a card, too, that tells you that your ships are coming in. So is it in the cards? Yes, it's definitely in the cards here for you, Leo. Let's see here what the angels have to say about love for Leo. This is going to be a year to remember, I feel, for you guys. What does Leo need to know about love, please? 
Advice for Leo about love, please. What else does Leo need to know about love? Meditation brings answers. Well, we didn't really touch on that. So apparently that's a good reminder. Remain positive, all right? Of course, because you get what you are. You want to be in a positive place when you're attracting. Listen to your intuition. We said that because I do feel like that's a lot of this. You're ready, they say. And they give you a yes, all right? Yes, it's in the cards. I love you too, Leo. And I'll be back again soon.